Hey everybody, <laughs> or should I say good morning? Um, it's technically morning. It is 2.02 a.m. That's my man right there. Just <sighs> It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I just got back in um, about an hour ago from work. If you don't know, or if you didn't watch the most recent video that I put up on my channel, this hair is like in my eye, dude. Then you maybe don't know that um, my work schedule these days is a bit hectic. I work late hours and I work long hours, okay? But it's fun because um, I love my job, actually. I love what I do and that's really, I think, maybe one of the first times I've said that in my life and actually meant it. Maybe that's sad, but it's true. I thought that I would do something a little different to try it out, see what everybody thinks, if we dig it or not. And I thought that I would vlog today, vlog my activities and what I'm doing. And I know you're probably thinking you're starting a vlog at two o'clock in the morning. Yes, I am. Because today is two, oh, that was loud. Tuesday, November 8th. Just believe me, it's, <laughs> it's right there, I promise. It's Tuesday the 8th. Today is the lunar eclipse. And in my time zone, I'm in Eastern Standard Time. I'm on the East Coast here in the States, if you didn't know that. Um, I'm gonna try to look in the, in the camera too, in the lens, cause it's, but it's hard when you're filming on a phone, it's hard not to look at the, what I'm, what's in view. You know what I'm saying? In our time zone that I'm in, it is visible from, just after 5 a.m., like 5.15-ish, is when it's going to start to fully eclipse, and then it's going to last until sometime after 6, 6.30-ish this morning. So, um, and my little brother got a badass fucking telescope for his birthday. The thing is legit. Um... And it's like a proper, it's a big fancy, it's a big fancy telescope, okay? He had been wanting this thing forever, and he got it for his birthday this year. Um, and perfect timing, because now we can watch the eclipse with his badass fucking telescope. We're gonna go out, we're gonna take it out and get it set up around four-ish. It's just after two. So we got a couple hours still. I'm gonna stay up, I'm gonna pull an all-nighter. And I thought we could vlog an all night together, pull an all nighter together, all of us. I mean, I mean, you're technically not here, and I'm still doing it alone, but that's fine. So we're gonna we're gonna pull an all nighter and watch the eclipse, and I'm gonna try to get um, as much footage as I possibly can, any pictures or video that I get of it. I'm gonna put it in this video. I'm gonna insert it because that's gonna be part of the vlog. So you can see what the eclipse looked like where I was at. Um, and if you miss it in your time zone, you can still get to experience it in my time zone. Look at us sharing, sharing together, sharing experiences. But yeah, I'm also gonna vlog um, some throughout the day as well just spend some time and like hang out vlog kind of show you what a because i'm actually going to have the day off tomorrow um which i'm pleased about just because um i've had a stressful few days so i cherish my days off when i can just relax kind of a good time to just film a vlog show you kind of what i do in my downtime what i do day to day I don't know what he's doing in there. I don't know what you just saw on that dresser back there. There's where I filmed um, the movie commentaries and stuff like that. 
Voila, there's my The Batman cup. Do you see it? We love the Batman. We could um, spend some time with uh, Black Beauty. That's what I, I named my guitar and that's its name. Okay, spend some time with her. We could spend some time with that Asia. <laughs> we could spend some time with her. We can spend some time with Jim, with Rob. We can just spend time, man. We can just hang out and chill. I would really like to eat an edible, but I'm afraid if I eat it now that I'll get drowsy and want to sleep before I manage to see the eclipse. So I really, I'm thinking about taking it like right before it's supposed to start. Or maybe like when my, whenever me and my brother go to set up the telescope outside, I'm thinking about taking it then. Because by the time that the eclipse starts, it'll be hitting me. And like, I love to experience everything in life high on edibles because it just makes everything like so much better um so i'll probably pop some of these bad boys or one one of them a couple of them i think we'll probably stick with our mellow fellows love this shit so yeah that's what we're doing and that's that's all she wrote so we're going to be able to still have it in focus by the time it turns red but it's like slowly getting eclipsed now you can see we've been out here for like an hour already so it should be about any time but like all these stars can you see them um mars is right there Mars. It's the center of the galaxy, basically. It's pretty hot. There's a moon. Mars is over there. It labels everything. That's up at what time it is. And the constellations, obviously. Hello, vlog! It is like several hours later. I'm going to get me and my little brother some like late lunch, early dinner because it's literally three o'clock in the afternoon. So what happened is, I'm going to include the, oh my nose, I'm going to include any and all of the footage that I managed to get of the eclipse this morning. So yeah, I went to vote because it's, it's voting day and did that like super early this morning. Anyway. I'm literally about to be here, so I'm gonna have to fucking, like, continue this in a minute. But basically, I, like, I fell asleep, right? Because I was fucking exhausted. I stayed up all night after working all night. Um, so I went to sleep at, like, around, like, 8 or so this morning. I went to sleep <laughs> and woke up not that long ago. So, um, okay, we have secured food now i'm going back i'm getting fucking old and i'm fucking tired and i'm like 
exhausted in every way humanly possible. Mentally, physically, emotionally tired of so much shit, but it's fine. So, let me like try not to die. <laughs> That's a first. No, it's not, <laughs> but it's, I always make jokes like that because it's, I think it's funny. Um, I can show you my outfit of the day when we get home because I'm wearing a dress. I've started doing that lately. I don't know like when I decided to start doing that or like why. It's very cute and I've got cute shoes on and these cute shades. Ever since I saw Lane Staley from Alice in Chains with a pair of these sunglasses on, I've wanted them ever since and I finally found a pair. I snatched them up, but they're, they're very 90s, which is literally, <laughs> I'm stuck in that decade and I'm not coming out of it. I don't care what anybody says. It's hot today, like it's in, it's in like the 70s. It's been very warm lately. I'm not going to complain about it. Look how pretty the sky is though. That beautiful blue sky. It's just gorgeous. Okay. I got to find some way to do this. Can I just sit you on the ground? Um, let me try it. I'm going to, I'll have to scream so you can hear me. Scream if you can hear me. Can you see? I don't know if you can make out details or not, but we got little flowers on the trim here and then this like acid wash kind of green funky color and then the flowers are up here too. These are my shoes. They kind of look a little witchy, I think. Look at the beautiful, look at this. If I wasn't here, this would be a beautiful painting. <laughs> yeah, I try to spend more time outside these days than I used to. Just because, you know, my kind of um, things that um, I used to think were priorities in life, uh, because of things that have happened over the last year, I've come to realize they're not really that important, you know. I think that's one of the reasons why I kind of like disappeared um, from the internet for, you know, I mean, like I didn't completely disappear, obviously, but I kind of like pulled back in, in a lot of different places like YouTube. I don't post that much anymore, but to be, to be honest, it was like kind of lack of inspiration, if you will. I mean, I know people probably think that my videos are super dumb and you know what? You're probably fucking right almost like you're going through the motions and I've spent a lot of my life just going through the motions and I don't like that feeling so I think that's why I kind of like pulled away from social media because I started to realize like all of this really doesn't mean anything at the end of the day and when I'm fucking dead and gone like you know am I gonna worry that I didn't post enough you know videos on YouTube or enough Instagram stories that were interesting, you know, like none of that stuff matters at the end of my life. It's not going to matter. What's going to matter is if I was there for people, what I did to help people, you know, what kind of person I was, like that's what's really going to matter, not this like other meaningless shit. There's a butterfly. Hey pal. Oh no, don't run, don't run. Come here. Why don't butterflies ever come to me? It kind of hurts my feelings. I'm nice. I'm gentle. I'm not going to hurt you. That butterfly straight up just said, fuck your bitch ass and left. Okay. I mean, I respect it. I wouldn't want somebody touching me either. I get it. Um, I mean, <laughs> it just depends. <laughs> but you like a complete stranger. Yeah. Walking up on me like that. Don't touch me, dog. I get it. But yeah, that's just kind of like, I mean, I know I made a video recently kind of talking about things like that, but I mean, that's really how I feel, right? Is just like, I just hadn't really been inspired. And then, I don't know, I felt really like 
compelled to like do a video on this particular day because I just it was like something like really special like I've tried to spend more time with my little brother too during all this that's been happening you know with my mother and her health and um you know because those people that we love in our lives are are vital they're they're so important and and they need to know that they're important and feel that they're important and I try so hard <laughs> every day to make sure that those people don't question it even for a minute this is just beautiful I, I, does anybody i'm just like looking at the sky i don't really give a shit <laughs> about anything else so yeah that's pretty much i really just came out here to show you my outfit and then i ended up talking about some like fucking shit i'm not even like high anymore <laughs> but you would think that I was. Um, oh, I could show you my new tattoos on my hands because I have new ones if you didn't notice. Uh, it says, and the road goes on forever. It is Almond Brothers lyrics, in case you are wondering. One of my favorite bands. I fucking love them. And I love that quote. It's just because it's so true. Okay, so because it is getting later in the evening, and if I don't have to work, this time of the evening is when I really get high on the edibles, or I start really taking them. I'm probably going to finish my Mellow Fellows off tonight. There's only two, two more. I had one this morning. I'm just going to like lay you down. <laughs> that looks, that's crazy. This is why I don't vlog. I took one this morning before we went to watch the eclipse because I wanted to be like connected with my higher self while watching such an immaculate uh, miracle of our galaxy and of our world. I sound cool. I'm s I've turned into such a hippie. If you haven't noticed, these, by the way, I meant to show you what these were by the way because if you're somebody that's like kind of sketch about eating an edible and you don't want to put the oil like this is some cannabis oil that i use this is from wonderkind it's this is a sativa if you don't know the difference between indica and sativa so if you take indica that tends to make you like sleepy and drowsy and sativa is kind of like an upper more so like it more is like you kind of get that energetic high whereas with indica it's more of like you just kind of go like turn into like a big tub of jello and you just want to sleep if you're kind of sketch about those things and aren't sure about them then i would recommend trying something like this they're soft gels so on the inside on the inside of it there is cannabis oil and so you just digest it and then it kind of the soft gel uh, disintegrates and then you have the oil um, I normally take two of these at a time but I'm just kind of pacing myself and then later on tonight I'll take the second one and maybe mix it with some of the actual the little rice crispy edibles that I have over there my hair is tangled in these fucking sunglasses. Oh my god. Oh, what's happening? This is why I don't do- you see? I'm just a hot ass mess. There's Rob. Um, what else? Oh. I meant to vlog this earlier, so in between the hours where I was kind of just waiting around for us to be able to go outside, I was reading this this is the crow by james obar this is the this is like a special edition like compilation of all the comics in one it's fucking dope i was the crow for halloween i'm gonna insert pictures in case you don't follow me on instagram and didn't see them i'm gonna put them in here but i was the crow for halloween i fucking love this movie i've done a movie commentary for this movie so 
check that out. It's here on my channel. The book, though, is so fucking good. If you haven't read it, you totally should, because it's really, really good. Also, read some from my Jim Morrison. Um, this is Wilderness. This is like a compilation of his poetry, some of his poetry. And I like to read one before I go to sleep every night, because I, I love, like, the feeling and, like, the mindset that I get from reading his poetry. I think it's very, very special. So, read some of those. Love you, Jim. I fucking love Jim Morrison. Here's the kitties. I'm gonna show you all the kitties. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna introduce you to all the cats. Or as many as I can get a hold of, because they're kind of crazy. Um, but they're my mom's cats. They're her whole entire fucking world. So this... Hi, Shorty. This is Shorty. Say hi, Shorty. He's a sweet baby. He's so big and fat. Yes, he is. This is Seven. Hi, Seb. Oh, look at you. Seven. He's such a sweetheart. He's the sweetest little baby. This is Brienne. If you watched Game of Thrones, my mom named her after Brienne of Tarth. So this is little Brienne. I see Vlad right here. Old Vladimir. He is the oldest of the bunch, we think. Hey, Vlad. Can you see his tooth? So he had to have a bunch of teeth removed because they were causing issues with his gums. And now he only has the two bottom ones. But you can see it. Can you see it? <laughs> we named him Vlad after Vlad the Impaler. Um, Vlad Zepesh. Because he, like, he looks like a vampire bat. I gotta try to find Griff. Because he's the newest one, and he's a big fluff monster. He's so fucking cute. But in here, oh, and here's little girl. Hey, little girl. Hi, baby. It's dark. <laughs> She's, like, new. I rescued her, like, I don't know how long. I, bet, I think maybe four years ago now. I rescued her. Um, she was in somebody's, her and all of her little baby siblings were in a, were stuck in a truck, in, a, in an engine, in a truck. And they were all traumatized because they went down, like, an interstate, like, going 70, 80 miles an hour. Little tiny babies in there, like, scared to death. Um, so she's kind of got some PTSD and stuff. She's very scared. She's like, you can tell she has a lot of anxiety. But she's sweet still. I don't know where Griff is. Because he's not coming out. I don't know where Griff is. So, but I think I took a little clip of him not too long ago. So I'll just insert that and you can see what little Griffy looks like that way. Because I don't know where in the hell that cat is. Okay. Um, the edible <laughs> is kicking in. My eyes don't look crazy yet. Another thing that I like to do while I'm high on edibles is play guitar because everything sounds good when you're high on edibles. So, um, I've got a capo on because a lot of the songs I play kind of require one or that I, <laughs> I try to play. Let's fucking reword that because I'm not, I'm still learning guitar, okay? I'm not a pro. And I'm not really that good. I wish that I was a prodigy, okay? I really wish I did. Have you ever seen Derek Trucks play guitar? Because holy shit. You should look that up. Because oh my god. If there was anybody ever born to play guitar, it's that man. So I'm just going to sit here and play my guitar for a while. So I thought this was a um, good way to end the vlog. Chilling with the guitar. So, um, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope that you liked hanging out with me and Rob and Jim and Aisha. She's all the way over there. Got her back to me because she's pissed. Um, 
and my little brother and anybody else that was in this vlog. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I hope you dig it and that you come back for more. So weird. I s but you know what? I think that I'm a lot, m I think that I'm a much more attractive person when I'm high. Like my personality and everything is just, I think so much better. Anyway, I do say some weird ass shit though. So before things start to get too weird, I'm going to end the vlog now. Me and Black Beauty. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.